Good morning, LifePoint Church, and welcome back to our daily devotionals. I really hope that you're enjoying these uh, little bit of time that we get to spend each other, and I hope that you're engaging in the comments down below. Would you do me a favor? If you liked one of these uh, this week, would you go back and would you share one of those videos with your friends? Would you share it on your timeline? We really want to engage people, and we want to get them um, thinking about God and thinking about our church and really encourage someone for the week. So for today, we're going to talk about um, two famous people's birthday. If you didn't know, on this day in 1902, Charles Lindbergh uh, was born. And not only him, but also on this day, um, Rosa Parks was born in 1913. And we talk about two people that have a great amount of courage. Can you imagine what it would be like to hop in that Spirit of St. Louis, to hop in that airplane, and to fly across the Atlantic Ocean without navigational equipment? I mean, he had, for the first time, someone was going to attempt to do this. And all he had was a compass. He had an airspeed indicator. Um, I guess he knew about how much fuel he had, and he was just hoping that he would make it across the Atlantic Ocean. And 33 and a half hours later, he landed in Paris, and he did it with the courage that he had. And Rosa Parks, well, we also remember her for having great courage. Um, and you know, in that time, to, to just refuse to give in um, to people's ugliness, to refuse to give in to the culture of that day and say, no, I'm going to stand up for my right. I'm going to stand up for the rights of other people. She sparked a great controversy in this nation that led to the civil rights movement that would change uh, for so many people to come after her. And we would look back on her and would say, wow, she had so much courage um, to do what she did. And we are thankful for both of those people. They had great goals in mind. Rosa Parks obviously dreamed of a nation um, that would be better than what it was in her day. And Charles Lindbergh dreamed of uh, air travel on how that would be to, grow, uh, uh, to go across oceans and people being able to travel and to get uh, to and from. So they had goals set in mind. And I wanted to know, what are your goals? Uh, Do you know that God cares about your goals? He does. He cares about the things that you want to achieve. Um, and he cares about you, and he cares about those things. Maybe put down below, what is the one thing maybe? Do you have a 10-year plan? Uh, do you have a business that you want to start up? Do you have a goal maybe for your family, for your friends? Do you have any goals or aspirations in ministry, in church? Go ahead, let's talk about it down below. But God cares about those plans that you have. But God also has plans for you. Sometimes we have to look into the Word of God, and we have to say, do my goals uh, are they the same thing as God goals? Can we marry those things together, or do they just not work out together? We have to look in the Word of God, and we have to say that sometimes we have things that we're pursuing, but if they don't line up with the Word of God, we have got to reevaluate that and go after what God has for us. The Bible reminds us in Philippians 3.14, I pursue as my goal the prize promised by God's heavenly call in Jesus Christ. Let's align our goals and let's align the things that we're going after with God's word. And he's going to help us do that. He's going to, he cares about you and I know he'll see us through. Thank you for joining me here today. Join us for our last day tomorrow and share it with a friend. Amen.